Officially, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the Life and Business Hack Show with your host, the real Stephen Corcoran. This whole show is about how do we get an upper hand on our competition? How do we be more effective with our marketing? How do we convert more people? Every month, I'm going to be coming out with you with content around this. Um, I'm super excited to talk about this topic today. I think a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners struggle with this. So I hope you found this, find this super valuable. Okay guys, today's topic is how to make Facebook ads actually make you money. Now I know as a business owner myself, and as you're probably watching this channel, you're an entrepreneur, you probably dabbled in Facebook a little bit, um, seen a little bit of return. And the only reason you're clicking on this video is to learn how to make Facebook work for you. You probably didn't get the results that you wanted. You probably didn't get enough reach. You probably didn't get enough conversions. This whole topic today is how to utilize Facebook to actually make you money. So let's roll the clip here and let's get to the content. like you're just wasting money on Facebook just to waste money? Would it be quicker just to burn it? Not getting the ROIs you want on Facebook? Then this video is for you. Now before diving into Facebook ads, we gotta ask ourselves, is our ideal client there? Is our niche actually in that Facebook group? Now Facebook has 1.69 billion users. There's a good chance your imaginary friend or your niche is on Facebook. Now the average return rate, at least by Google saying Facebook ads is about 450% more than what you invest in. Now my question to you, are you getting those results? Are you getting those obscene numbers? Probably not if you're watching this video. So this video, I'm going to show you how to get closer to that with only a two steps to making your ads work and convert better to make money on Facebook. Now there's only two steps to make your ads actually perform and make you money. But before that, I want you to understand what business owners are currently doing and what's wrong with that strategy. Okay, so this is, tell me if this looks typical. Tell me if you've done this in the past. You've run a Facebook ad to a cart where they either buy or they opt in and you look at the return and you're like, you know what? I've spent X amount of dollars on ads. I got this many people to convert. This is my ROI in this campaign. Now you just stop right here. Now that's the bare bones of Facebook ads right there is you run your ad to your ideal customers. They either buy or they don't buy. Now the doing this strategy is like digging for gold and you might find a nugget, but then you abandon it and go to another one or you get discouraged and you give up. I'm going to show you a strategy that will make more people click on your, on your ads as well as convert better as well to get the conversion up. Are you guys interested in learning a little bit about that a little bit? Okay, let's do it. Step number one, to making your ads actually get clicked on more, make sure that they're appealing, that people are actually taking action on it. Number one is split testing. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to utilize Facebook ads to get more people to click on it. Cause that's step number one is we wanna split test to figure out what, how to create the best ad possible. And this is where this strategy comes in. Okay, so rather than just running one ad to one cart and figuring out our ROI, we wanna run multiple ads at the same time in the split testing. What does it look like? It looks like this right here. So when we're running Facebook ads, we don't know what's gonna pop out to our audience, what's gonna get more click throughs, what's gonna get more people to buy. What we gotta do is we gotta test different images. So first one is we test images, run two ads, at the same time to see which one wins. 
Now it usually takes about two to three days for you to see which ad is outperforming the other one. Let's say if A is beating out B, we just take out uh, B and we go bring A down to here. Now a good question comes in, well with those images, I'm testing different images, but what about the description, the headline, and the call to action button? Those are all the same because if you start playing around with multiple different areas, you won't know which one is actually outperforming the other one. So we need to lower down uh, different increments, different sections of the ad to figure out which one's better to make the golden nugget, to really find the gold mine. So we want to just test the image. The description, the headline, and the call to action is the exact same, but the image is different. As soon as we find out what's the game winning image, we go to the description part. So now they have the game winning image is planted in both of these. Now their descriptions are just different. The headline's the same, the call to action is the same. Now you're gonna, another two to three days goes by, you're gonna figure out exactly which one of those are better. Let's say if A wins again. Now we got a game winning image, we got a game winning description. Now we're gonna test two different headlines and put them against each other. So we've created ad D here. Now D's gonna have everything except for a different headline. Which one wins that? Then it goes to the call to action, the button, the learn, learn more, the buy now, all that fun stuff that goes with it. Till we've found, you should always be split testing your ads on Facebook to figure out which one has a better click through, what is resonating, what's getting more shares, what's getting more likes, comments, all that fun stuff to make sure. So this is the strategy to make a game winning ad for people to actually click on it. Because I've done a research where just to give you an example for a resort that I've been working with, um, we wanted to know, and their target market is, is grandmas. So we're targeting grandmas on Facebook, and we're running two different images. One was an image of your kid, your grandkid running in a field. The other one was just a cabin, just by itself, out peacefully in the, the wilderness. And you think, just from what I was thinking, the grandma would resonate more with the kid running in the, in the field, you'd think. Um, but no, actually everybody clicked on the cabin. So I guess grandmas aren't really care about their kids when they go on vacation. I'm just kidding. They, of course they do. They want to spend time with them. So this is a way better strategy when you're running Facebook ads to get more people to click on it. Now I'm going to go into step number two, which is retargeting. Now you're probably wondering what is Facebook retargeting? It's when somebody's clicked on your ad and that ad follows them all around on the internet. Now, most of the times people think this is super hard to set up and super elaborate, but really you just gotta come up with five different ads that fit different places, placements on the internet, like a banners, cross columns, all that fun stuff that goes into it. So it's super easy to set up. Now, now you're probably wondering, why should I turn on retargeting ads? The fact is most people, for them to buy from you, they gotta know, like, and trust you. Know, like, and trust you. Now here's a question for you. When somebody first sees an ad, do we have those three key components in place for somebody to buy from you? They've probably just seen you for the first time. Here's a statistic for you guys. It probably takes about eight to 12 touch points to build that trust, to build that like, and for somebody to buy from you. So you have to be keep on their radar. Now, if they clicked on the ad, they were interested in something of that. So now you want to follow them around. So what does retargeting kind of look like? Now, the best thing about retargeting is it makes you look like you're spending enormous amount of money on, on ads. When it's really only, you can set it up as conversions, so it only works if somebody actually clicks back on that. So you can put an easy $50 towards this campaign, and if nobody clicks on it, then you don't waste $50. But I know for myself, especially running a business where I was selling for events, like we would do workshops, that this was super effective. We actually got more signups through our retargeting than our Facebook ads. The Facebook ad is just to introduce you 
to a cold audience, the retargeting is where you warm them up. You warm them up to know, like, and trust you. That's where you build, that's when you can actually get somebody to open up their wallet and pay you. So what does retargeting kind of look like? It looks like this. So you run your ad and because we did step number one, we got split testing and we created a really appealing ad. So we got a lot of people clicking on it and looking at this page, but they haven't bought because they don't know, like, or trust us yet. So rather than just keep spending so much money on, on ads, trying to push it to more people to get them to buy right away, which they won't buy right away. So what we need to do is actually create a Facebook retargeting campaign where because they've clicked on and has looked at our products and services, we follow them around, this little guy running away, is we follow them around all the internet to get to know, like, and trust us. Because we know they're interested in our products and service. They know we can help their, their problem, wants, and frustrations. Now we just gotta stay on their radar. So it's important to stay on their radar. Okay guys, that is my two-step process to making Facebook ads actually make you money. Because in a day and age of right now, we need to be looking at online. We need to be looking at how do we do this pivot point to selling more online. And this is a good tip for you guys. Um, if you're looking at getting into Facebook ads at all, you need to be split testing. You need to be retargeting or else you're missing a big gap on how much money you can actually make on Facebook. Because if we want to get those ROIs, we need to be having both in place. Now I know that was action packed and I know you guys are probably gonna have some questions around how do I actually do this for myself? I've kind of walked you through the overarching strategy. If you guys need more technical support, just leave a comment in, in the description here, in the link. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and a comment. And I will answer all those comments personally myself um, on how to set that up for you because I want you guys to succeed. Now, since the video is over and you found that super impactful, make sure to give it a like, comment, and a subscribe. That was a hard word to say. Subscribe. Um, to show your love and support, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this because I'm only doing this for you guys. So let me know that I'm doing a good job.